I grew up in northern Maine, and uh, we had a ski lift uh, started out with a rope toe. Every time you went, you had to take a new pair of mittens with you because you'd wear out a pair of mittens. But then a couple of years after that, they got a tea bar, which was pretty good. So it turned out to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good place to go skiing. I think it's a, a main tradition. Winter lasts for six or seven months. You have to find something to do in the winter time, otherwise you're going to go stir crazy. And so I think that being outside, getting to be on the mountain in the snow, you're not sitting inside looking at it. You're actually out there. You're experiencing it. You're out in nature. You know, there's something bigger beyond yourself that you can experience and be a part of. And I think that's something that draws a lot of people into skiing. I try to get here as early as I can. I like to be in the lodge at 7 o'clock because to me, fresh tracks are the greatest feeling in the world. I started skiing when I was like 6, and then when I was 10 I started snowboarding with my dad. I started out when I was uh, grade school, and then high school, and then college. I raced in college for a year, and then, uh, and then I lost my feet. I used to ride a motorcycle, and it's almost like that, and that's what actually put me in my chair, so it, it's the next best thing to getting back on that. To be able to give people hope that there's life beyond injury is absolutely amazing, and that's, that's something I get out of it. It is very selfish. I have this huge sense of pride in this program that we can do so much for people who maybe have been injured or they have a, a child that has a, an illness or a disease and we can say, you can come skiing, you can go skiing as a family. We have a program that does that for you. I kept having these dreams after I lost my feet that I was actually could ski. I was, and I'd wake up in the morning and through my first cup of coffee and think, geez, I could really ski, you know. If you teach somebody to ski who thought that they were going to be bound by a disability or something. It, it gives you a sense of being free and being able to do something that you never thought you could do. It just it adds something to your life that uh, might not have been there otherwise, and it's just it's a wonderful thing. That first year was actually awesome. Uh, it took a lot of learning. I mean, it was a lot of falling down and and this and that, but um, now that I'm five years in, I've got pretty much the whole mountain covered. I love seeing people smile and really enjoy what they're doing and being outdoors. So that's a passion of mine is being outdoors and I wanted to share that. I wanted everybody to be able to experience that. Being able to see people outside and be active and really enjoy what they're doing and the community that we have here has just made it amazing amazing experience. It may look different, but people that are in wheelchairs can get out and do as many things as they used to. It's a, it's a new skill, yeah. it's something that you can challenge yourself with, and it's not necessarily about your disease or your disability. It's yeah. about you internally, what can you do, how can you push yourself. We're here to support people, but we're only going to push them as far as they want to go. I lost both feet in 95, so I gradually took back my life, you know, I took back hunting, I took it back fishing, and then skiing was the final piece. And it's all because awesome. of Maine, Maine Adaptive Sports and Recreation, it just, it's a, it's a life-changing organization, truly. It changed my life, got me off the couch, got me active again, probably saved my life.